for Vanessa Bank. But I've not received her. But I'll receive her when I meet her at one day. Joel. Good evening. This weekend marks two years since deadly floods devastated eastern Kentucky. But for the survivors, not a day goes by that they can forget. We do welcome you to WKYT News. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Amber Philpott. 45 people lost their lives, one of them being Vanessa Baker. Her body has never been found. WKYT's Kelsey Soto shares one man's story of that daily reminder of a broken heart. It's our top story at 6. Just like an old man. You got it. 63 year old. These days are all hurry up and wait for Farmer Baker. I still feel young anyway. That's my house, I reckon. Whenever they get it done. As a young boy growing up on the River Caney, he dreamed of building a future with the girl next door, Vanessa. Oh, that's good times. So was. Good times. And one day, she finally gave in. People always told me, said, Ed, that won't last. She said, you all won't last. Said, you won't last six months. It's almost 40 years. I couldn't have found a better woman, I don't believe. So couldn't have. The pair raised two boys. They welcomed grandchildren and always weathered the storms of life together until one day in the summer of 2022. It washed everything. Floods raged through the River Caney, leaving nothing but the memories created there. In the last words to come out of my mouth, I said, I can't swim. I looked around, she was gone. And I looked up, God said, you took her, take me. He said, he, he just did he had a purpose for me. Farmer hasn't stopped looking for his childhood sweetheart. I'm still searching. I did. Every, every bit of the money I got from my house and like I put into an excavator and like and I, I go down there and dig for her. So when people say life is so hard there, why do they stay? We stay because of each other, because we love one another and we need each other to, to have a good life and to be happy. Yeah, this is my room, I reckon. Yeah. Now almost ready to move into a new home. I don't know if I can get a king size bed in here or not. He didn't know he'd one day need. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for people that have to start over. I do. Because I know how it feels. There may never be another Vanessa. You might fill her space, but you can't take her place. I feel like she is kind of still here with us because, you know, you feel that love between Farmer and his wife. It's still there, it still exists. Dream over every night, Jesus smiling. I asked her where she's at. She never tell me. But one day they will find each other once again. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna be satisfied up here, and I know she's with me all the time too. I know she'll be with me. In Perry County, Kelsey Soto, WKYT. And the Housing Development Alliance is working to build Farmer's Home. It should be ready at the end of August or early September. Tomorrow, Governor Andy Bashir will travel to Floyd, Knott, Perry, and Breathitt counties to commemorate the anniversary.